Good morning, friends. Um, we are just packing up camp from our first official two nights of van life. Woo woo! How are you feeling? I'm feeling elated. I mean, we were discussing yesterday night uh, that if it feels like we we're always meant to do this. It just feels natural to us. It's not even an adjustment. So that feels amazing. Yeah. Sitting in an apartment all day felt unnatural, didn't it? Yeah. Everything felt hard. I grew up in the mountain, so I like that. So Vincent is putting away our camping chairs. They go in here in the back. That'll be a fun thing. Uh, actually, honestly, we could just leave them out for today because we're just going to another campsite. Yeah. Um, we are headed from Eloy, Arizona, which is just an hour south of the valley to um, just past Tucson, Benson, Arizona, um, just to another campsite. So uh, easy. We need to stop at Walmart in Benson on the way. I already mapped it out. And uh, check out this view. There's a <laughs> high voltage power lines and a power plant over there. So just pretend like that's not there. And from here on, a beautiful desert view. Um, this is in a really nice spot. It's BLM land. Um, there, it's been pretty quiet. There, I think a couple other cars drove in while we've been here, but it's been really quiet, especially Look. compared to the last place that we were at. And we have a little buggy friend. Hello. Hello, grasshopper. Nice to see you. Please don't let him jump in by the van. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Did you jump onto the tarp? Of course. <laughs> yeah, oh, see you later. <laughs> 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 where's the Where's the cover for this? Oh, I do not know. We'll have to find it. I think it might be in the back still. Oh, it's you know what? It's behind the toilet. Ah, that's where I stuck it. Um. So yeah, I didn't film. I didn't film the last couple of days because we were just kind of in our feelings. I feel like we just needed to like veg for a minute, and you already saw a little bit of us camping in the last vlog. Um, and yeah, we just, we just drove here and then we just sat. Well, I have the news on in the background. I'm actually going to turn this off because we don't need it anymore and it's kind of a cloudy day. So we want to preserve our power. Cats are meowing. They do not like being stuck in the cab, but we are packing up to go. Um, but yeah, from here on out, it is vlog city and everything else. I posted a just dumb little reel on Instagram, but I don't know why I have such dumb a mental. Little. Okay. Let me finish. I don't know why I have such a mental block around like short form content, but I've always really struggled with it. It just feels like it's hard for me to be creative in that form. And I want to get better at it because it's just so much more accessible and quick to do really easy to do once you get in the habit of it. So anyway, I'm trying to post on reels, um, and TikTok and stuff. Dirty. Uh, yeah. Wet. That, look at all the water it trapped under. I did. I see that. Nice. That's a good thing to remember for next time. <laughs> Oops. Um, we've got to take it with us, so if it requires just folding it up for now and we can shake it out later, that's fine too. I'm going to shake it out first and then fold it. Okay, sounds good. Um, but yeah, we, anyway, so post, like follow me on Instagram if you don't already so that you can follow that because I'll try to post cute stuff. Um, I, let's see, what was I going to say? I don't even remember. This is already, this clip is long enough. Let's get going. favorite cheap Mexican food, Filberto's, Yummy. to grab some grub. <laughs> so here's my two beef tacos. This was the best Filiberto's that we have been to. It's on what street? Pearl Street or something. Um, I think it's something more west, Southwestern related. It's right next to a um, Goodwill over there. But anyway, yeah, this is the best tacos I have seen from Filberto's in a long time. The salsa was excellent. They even had free chips and guac and queso sitting out. It was like really nice. So highly recommend that in uh, in Tucson. Delish.
All right, this stopped at Walmart in Benson. Um, <sighs> there isn't much that we need to get. I mostly need to get deodorant because I forgot to get more. And Oops. it's gone. Um, so we're gonna run in and do that. We'll see if there's anything else that we need to grab. We got firewood at Circle K and we got gas, which was only 309 today, which is great. Um, yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, like I need to stretch my legs, but Perfect. look, well, I have like two cuties with me. I got this one <laughs> and I got this one. This is just um, we're almost to our camp spot for the night. It's kind of an unknown. Um, what's been helpful for me is looking on Google Maps and seeing other vans and RVs parked, you know, out in the BLM land. And this time the BLM land that I found, I just couldn't see any cars parked there. So I don't know. I don't know if it's really parkable or not. We will see. It's a fun experiment. Um, so we'll have to figure that out. We will see. We will see. If not, we will come back to this Walmart and sleep here tonight. <laughs> uh, there is good service here, so that's okay if that's what needs to happen. It is supposed to rain tomorrow anyway, so that's not super fun. Tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday. We'll see. We might end up doing more driving those days if we're just, like, kind of stuck in the van. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. It'll be... It's all kind of an unknown, and that is part of the fun of van life, I think. Okay, let's go. Ooh, hi, friends. Um, I am out of breath. I just kind of tidied up the cab for us to go. Uh, it's been a couple days. The weather yesterday was really bad. The spot that we wanted to go to, uh, BLM land in New Mexico, was trashed. If you see it on uh, Road Trippers, it's Pipeline Road Dispersed Camping. Don't even bother. It was the most disgusting patch of land we've ever seen. It was so dirty, full of like I don't know, falling apart mattresses and just excessive amounts of trash. And there was like not a tree in sight. It was just like scrubby, gravelly desert. It was really hard on the van to even get in and out of it. It was like not good. So we kind of went around there for a minute, realized that the road was just getting more and more hilly. It was not gonna work. We were kind of frustrated. The wind, we had like a wind advisory yesterday. Winds up to 60 miles per hour in Southern New Mexico. So, and we were really feeling it when we were on that BLM line too. So we ended up, um, kind of hanging out at Walmart for a little bit. We went and got pizza at Pyology, which is similar to Mod Pizza, like you just build your own pizza, and that was good, because we like getting pizza where we can like get multiple meals out of it, so we got that. And then we ended up back at this rest stop. Um, here it is through the very rainy windshield. Um, it's called like the Welcome to New Mexico, it's the Anthony Welcome Center, um, just before you hit the Texas border, um, you know, so just like if you're heading if you were heading west, it would be heading into, or north, it'd be heading into New Mexico. Anyway, uh, heading south, you know, we're going back to Texas. Texas is right over there. Uh, also, the 5G tower is right there, too. So the signal was really good uh, for that. Vincent taught his lessons here this morning, and this was a good, safe place to be. A uh, nice bathroom, really clean, and they have all of these awesome little, like, picnic spots with benches and tables and um, trash cans. And the best part is that they have a water spout so we could fill up our fresh water tank. Our gray water tank is completely full, so we have to find a place to dump that right now. Um, never dump your gray water tank in a storm drain. We have almost nothing in our gray water. It's mostly leftover water, tiny bits of uh, biodegradable soap. And we have a macerator for food, so it's like completely kind of it like food particles, not even real actual food in our gray water. Um, so we are trying to decide where we want to dump that. We could pay $10 for a dump station, but we have so little gray water that it doesn't really justify it. We don't have like a massive, massive tank. It's 20 gallons. Um, so BLM land is a safe place to dump, but it's pretty safe to dump gray water as long as it doesn't have too much in it on like a rocky dirt floor. That's like the best place or grass. Grass will also filter out a lot of the stuff that could go into the ground. If you dump it in a storm drain, obviously it can go back to whatever water source the storm drain empties into, so you never want to do that, but it's a gray area. People, it's really controversial. You should look on like r slash van dwellers. People are, get really up in arms about where they dump their gray water, but from expert's point of view, gray water, the, our type of gray water isn't a big deal, and especially not in the amounts that we have. Um, so we're probably going to go back to that nasty BLM land that's full of trash and dump our gray water there because it's already disgusting. And um, our little bit of gray water is not going to hurt that land anymore. And it's already been hurt by all of the big amounts of trash that are there. So that's probably what we're going to do. Anyway, we have to figure that out. <laughs> then we got to run a few errands. Vincent did a good job selling his classes so that we could um, buy a few things today. So I'll take you along. We're going to just do some home improvement stuff, which is exciting. It's some stuff that's been on my list for a while. Um, so yeah, that's the update. We are here overnight. We were basically sandwiched in between two big semi-trucks. So it was, felt safe and 
it, they blocked a lot of the wind for us, which is good. Um, so that was, that was fine. This is just part of van life. When the weather's bad, it's just a little bit hard to find safe, good places to be. So, but yeah, that's that's the scoop. <laughs> Vincent brushing his teeth back there. You can hear it. Um, and my battery's about to die. So I'm going to change the camera battery and then we'll get on our way. We, uh, we put the bed up because Vincent needed to fix something in the electrical closet. And that we're going to put it back down so we didn't fold up all the blankets and put them away. So now we just have this massive pile of blankets here. And it's just going to be here for now. Right, Goose Goose? Does that make you happy? You have a place to snuggle? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we grabbed, grabbed Starbucks. I got a dirty chai. We're going to go to a uh, Tuesday morning out there and then home goods right there and see what we can find. Every time I'm driving, Goose is trying to do exactly this. So after we're done driving, he can. You love right, the dash so much. Right, Goose, you like, like the dash. It's entertainment. Looking out at everybody. You're gonna be so happy. <laughs> Little gremlin. Boop. Hi, friends. It's the end of the day. It's like eight something. Um, we ended up at Cracker Barrel. That's where we're parked right now. Um, for the night with the four or five other RV slash van people. Vincent is reading in bed. <laughs> um, I just want to show you what we got. First of all, we got this rug. Let me, I think it's going to be way too dark. No, it's okay. Um, we, so we got this rug to replace the two really cheap rugs that we had before. They're from Target and they just held on to way too much cat hair and dirt and stuff because they were too plush. So this is much better. It's like very, very, very thin. Um, and it doesn't really have any like plushness to it. It's just flat, but just protects from like the cold floor a little bit And it's actually better colors too. It's like more green greens and oranges and yellows. You can't really see in the dark too well. So sorry about that But I'm really happy with it. Uh, we also found some small um, Plastic plates that kind of match um, The ones that we have at home goods. Let me see like these ones up here and the bowls. The bowls are also um, Tommy Bahama, just like a different shade of wood grain. Um, so I got more of those, which is really good. Um, what else did we get from uh, like TJ Maxx? We just got some small like shampoos and I got a little bit of like hair oil treatment. I just like little, little small size things is what we need now because we have to take everything into the gym to shower for now at least until we finish our uh, wet bath, which we'll do eventually. Um, but not this, not this trip. Um, we also grabbed some snacks from Tuesday morning. It's a great place to grab snacks. Uh, and some like just washcloths so that we can easily Wash our face uh, in the van. Where's Goose? Or where's Earl? Again? Oh, he's down there. I thought he yeah, jumped into Goose there. Is in between my legs. Yeah, no, I, I meant Earl. He's underneath the bed. Oh, I also got a new little scratcher for the cats. You can barely see Earl on it. It's too dark. Hi, baby. See you later. He likes to sit underneath the bed on a little that little like step right there. That's his little like dark cavey watching spot <laughs> uh, but yeah so tomorrow we will go into planet fitness and shower um they don't have towels for free in the gym because it's a cheap gym um and i don't have a towel yet vincent has vincent has this little one uh like a little microfiber one but i don't have one so we have to figure that out tomorrow uh there's a walmart across the street from this cracker barrel so we might just like run into walmart and grab something i'm sure that i can't zip this with one hand but i'm sure that walmart will have something um but we have to go kind of early because vincent's cla first class of the day is at nine and he actually has like a full day of teaching tomorrow tomorrow is his first day of his new set of lessons so we're happy we're about to not be in the red anymore thank you to all of the kind people who've been so supportive of us during this little transition time it has been insanely stressful but you guys have made it so much better um sorry for all the new the noise while it's jammed those things into the cover that was harder than i expected <laughs> my shower caddy's really heavy because i have like all my products in there so i can like do all the things at once okay cool so i'm going to brush my teeth toothbrushes sink i'm gonna climb in bed and read midnight sun with Vincent. He's not reading Midnight Sun, but just read with him in general. Um, so I'll um, have a good night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with a fresh, clean hair and showered body. <laughs>
Morning, friends. <laughs> What's that super weird noise? Is it birds? It must be birds. Um, anyway, hi. It sounds almost like the... The, um... Oh, what's it called? Look at these cats. There must be birds outside that I can hear. There's, they are both glued to that. Um, anyway, sorry. For a second, I thought it was like the blinkers in the car that I can the cats hit them. They've done that before. Anyway, sorry. Um, so tragedy has struck. <laughs> uh, I went and took a shower at Planet Fitness, which was fine. The shower was great and it was quiet. There's nobody in there. Um, and when I went to put my glasses on, they are completely scraped up. I don't know if you can even see it. It's really bad. Uh, can I, can you see it? No. Um, it's really bad. Trust me. I can like, I can see, oh, here, I'll show you through the window. Maybe let me see if I can show you how bad it is. So that you know, I'm not exaggerating. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. I don't know how it happened. The only thing that I can think of is maybe I didn't put them in my backpack when I went to shower and my backpack was like up against a wall. I put them on top. So maybe if they had, if they like scraped up against the wall, I, oh, I feel so dumb. And the worst part is that I have like 10 pairs of glasses with the same prescription in our storage unit. And I just forgot, I forgot to pack an extra pair of glasses. So all I have is these super scraped up glasses now. And I'm like really blind. Like, I need to wear glasses. So, um, this is not good. <laughs> I'm really upset. Um, I've never done this before. Like, I've, I've been a glasses wearer since I was nine years old. For 20 years, I've been a glasses wearer, and I've never scraped up my glasses like this before, ever. So, this is really bad timing. Really unfortunate. Um, so I hopped right on zenny.com where I originally got these, these frames, which I do love. Um, and they are old. I ordered them in 2020, so it's probably time for fresh ones anyway you know the pads get kind of worn out and the lenses were like already pretty worn out um just not scraped anyway so I got right on Zenny and I ordered two new pairs of glasses um for about a hundred dollars with express shipping um and then I had to figure out where to ship them because it's like we're on the road like we're moving I can't I'm not, I'm not gonna sit in El Paso for an extra like up to 10 business days for which is what express shipping is Ugh. anyway so I'm having them sent to a post office right outside of San Antonio. For reference, if you're on the road traveling and you need something shipped like this, um, there's a lot of post offices that accept what's called general delivery. So instead of putting a street address, you just put your name, and then instead of the street address, you put general delivery, and then you put the city, state, and zip code that you're going to. So like ours is the one that I'm having it sent to. I, you can check on the USPS website and see which post offices accept general delivery. Um, so I just looked up, uh, the one that we're having it sent to is I think called Rio Medina. It's right outside of San Antonio on the highway towards San Antonio. Um, so I just put like my name, general delivery, Rio Medina, Tech, Rio Medina, Texas with the zip code. Um, so they'll be sent there. Let's hope that Zenny, let's hope that Zenny, um, delivers on the five side of the five to 10 day estimate. <laughs> Five to ten business days, I will add too, so it could be up to like two weeks. Oh, I feel so stupid. I can't believe I did that. I these are really bad. Like I have to wear these for like a week now. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I didn't pack an extra pair of glasses. I have extra sunglasses. Um, which I'll probably just wear every time we're driving now, I suppose. Um, but like I don't Oh, I feel so dumb. I'm really upset. Um my glasses are like, you know, important, <laughs> important things. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's, that's what happened this morning. I actually really need to blow dry my hair now that I got my glasses figured out as far as shipping them. Um, I need to order or I need to blow dry my hair while my bangs are still kind of wet. They're like already so dry. It's going to be hard to even blow dry them well, but oh, what a mess. So anyway, there's the update for this morning. <laughs> Um, oh, by the way, I did wake up to a whole bunch of notifications from, um, coffee.com. People have been so freaking generous. I can't, like, I cannot thank you enough. That will cover me having to now get new glasses. That was $100 I wasn't planning on spending right now. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for that, because otherwise I don't know what I would have done. Um, you guys saved the day for sure. That was not a good time. So, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate it. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, these vlogs, like, I don't expect to get paid for them unless they're really high quality, and I always feel like they're not high quality enough to ex expect any kind of payment ever. Uh, I just do what I can do. Um, but I'm really grateful that, like, you guys find value in this, honestly. Um, let's turn this around to something positive. Um, people are looking out for us. There's love and light in our life everything is gonna be fine <laughs> uh so yeah that's fun um luckily vincent also does start his classes today so everything will be all right um uh, money will start to flow in at a reasonable pace again after this very stressful month um and we'll be able to get back on the road and hopefully we'll be sitting in san antonio waiting for my glasses and not here in el paso because we don't really like it's just, it's fine. It's, it's felt safe and stuff, but it's just like, there's kind of bad service everywhere. There's really bad air quality. We are both feeling it in like our sinuses and our throats. I'd rather just like get away from the border, honestly. It's just really congested feeling. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just, I can't think. Okay, I need a blow dry my hair. I said I was going to do it and then I keep talking because I'm coming down off of all of the anxiety around figuring out my glasses situation. Um, okay, I'll be back with my hair done. Hello, friends. I can't remember what last clip I filmed. We, <laughs> we sat in El Paso for three days during like heavy wind and rain. Um, and last, well, yesterday was the first day that the rain finally cleared up and we were able to like fully charge our batteries and run our last few little errands like groceries and stuff. So we, uh, we finished like getting ready, shopping Vincent's lessons around 7.30 last night and we just decided to get out of town. We were so sick of El Paso. We basically spent the entire time in like this one shopping area, just kind of bouncing around, like parking a different spot every night. So we were really sick of it. Um, it's, you know, El Paso is El Paso. It's like right on the border. Half of the city is in Mexico. So it's, um... Not that it's particularly unsafe, it's just that it's very, like, your typical kind of dirty city, <laughs> kind of. Lots of shopping centers and malls and stuff, but, like, not a lot that's great for van life. If anybody um, is from El Paso, I'm sorry, but El Paso sucks! Yeah, my my friend Jackie, who's a NBC news producer, I'm pretty sure that at some point... Maybe last year or earlier, like in 2022, she did a big story on like the pollution in El Paso. And I can honestly say we both were so congested the entire time we were there. It was weird. Uh, I think it's just pollution. So there's that. Um, anyway, we're really, really, really ready to get out of town. So we just literally at 730 last night, we just drove away. So Bam. we're sitting in a random rest stop right now. Um, there's just desert all around us. There's like nothing, which is fine. <laughs> it's really cold. It's been really cold in Texas. Um, like temperatures in the twenties at night, freezing. So, um, we're just kind of like bundled up and hanging out right now. So I'm just going to edit this vlog and post it. It turned out to be a really boring week, but we have a lot of really fun stuff coming up. I mapped out our whole trip. Um, yesterday I, with my glasses, you know, we have to wait in San Antonio for those to be delivered. But San Antonio will be a much funner city to hang out in than El Paso was, I think. So I'm excited about that. It'll be good. Um, if you have to bounce around San Antonio, you know, at least we'll have fun things to go do. Uh, the river walk, all that kind of stuff. And if anybody has recs for San Antonio, put them, put them down in the comments for us. Because we yeah. need some recommendations. Yeah, and um, tonight we'll be in Marfa for the Marfa Floating Lights. Um, it's like an old legend you can go there's like an overnight place where you can park and see if you can see the floating lights so that's kind of fun um and then the night after that we'll be at um some campgrounds for a couple days we'll do laundry and like get everything all topped up before we head into san antonio so anyway it should be fun um sorry sorry this vlog is so random we just you know can't predict the weather and that's that's the thing with van life you just got to kind of follow the weather so cool all right love you thanks so much for watching um oh did i mention you yes, I did. We're good. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, okay.
Thanks so much for watching. Like this video if you made it to the end because that means that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I made our driving plan. And it, it's totally going to change. Um, I basically just went through our entire, like road trip from here to Atlanta, Georgia, and planned out stops about two hours apart the entire way. It's about a 30, I think it started off as like a 30.